G'day everybody and welcome back to the Risky Rollers podcast. I'm Dalton and I'm joined by Lockie. What's up? <laughs> what the fuck is that? <laughs> and by Jake. Hey guys. <laughs> I got excited. What, what were you doing What then? was that? <laughs> I'm just like getting, getting Why? shit up. I don't know. Fuck it. I'm just being weird. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Uh, we've got some good stuff to talk about today. We've got a balance update. Uh, and then an update to the balance update because GW can't write their own fucking rules. And um, no, and then yeah, a, so. and then a um, and then a validity Benhammer document, right? And and then and another document just telling us which documents are oh, good documents. documents. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, which is we'll get through all of that. Um, which will be good. Before we get into that, massive thanks to Dice Arcade sponsoring the channel. You hear more from Tim a bit later. If you want to chat with us about balance updates and, and anything else, Warhammer, we were talking about this for like crazy all night when this uh, came out. Yeah. Jump into our Discord. It's fantastic down there. We've got Age of Sigma channels going on. We've got 40k channels going off. Come all argue. sorts of things going on. Come argue squats with me. Come argue yep. dwarves with me. Come in there. Tell tell Lockie why dwarves are the best fantasy race. Um, and how and how no, no, it's no, no, no. I'm with Lockie on this yeah. one. Just get bigger. Yeah. yeah. Just be better. <laughs> um, Just be yeah. better. Death is the best. And you know it too, Dalton. You're not. You're Nighthorn. Yeah, man. Death all the Tomb way. Tomb Kings, man. Tomb Kings. Well, wait. It, yeah. I agree. I was Tomb Kings back in the day. But Vampire counts first. Yeah. That's my normal love. So, yeah. yeah. I like lizards. Yes. Yes. Getting right <laughs> right into the lizardmen. And, and, and yeah. the big frog people. Big frog wizards. What do you mean? As if, as if like, T-Rexes and stuff isn't the equivalent awesome of, like, big bugs. That's... He's got you there, That's mate. pretty good logic. Fuck. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sit down. <laughs> So, um, jump into there, jump into our Patreon for all sorts of exclusive stuff, extra bat reps, narrative reports, mm. um, extra podcasts that details all of the, the tactics and strategies and things we're planning before a game. Um, and we've even got some exclusive battle reports going up there very soon. Just extra ones. Yeah. Just for patrons. Extra loving for we you love legendary Patreon people because, yeah. um... Yeah, we want to give you guys some love, and that's how we're going to do it. Yeah. So, uh, without any further ado, let's let's go around each of us. So, I've got a question to ask you. What's everyone been working on? <sighs> ooh, ooh, I have this one. I have this one. I've been doing things. I got a new airbrush recently, like a proper airbrush and a water something something. I forget it off the top of my head, but it's nice. And yeah. I've been working on fades on, like, you know, armor and power weapons for my GK. Um, yeah. Sorry, excuse me. I've been learning. A, You've been cheating. I've been learning a whole new ge- a whole new skill set to you know develop myself as a painter. But if you want to call that cheating and just play with your sticks, that's fine. I'm not a learning way of blending. I'm just gonna fade with the airbrush. Man. No, it's fine. It's I don't. Fine. <laughs> I don't want to learn a whole. I don't want to learn a whole new skill set. I'm gonna just play with these sticks. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> which makes you better. Uh, uh-huh, sure. Don't no, there, there is a there there is an art to airbrushing. You know, but yeah, one that you don't have. I have. I just don't choose to do it because I'm better than that. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. Sure, buddy. Yeah. Uh, so, what have you been nice. working on? <laughs> just I just to... said. I just said. Hey, I just said. I've been doing GK uh, power armor. So I just built a squad of Terminators, oh. uh, as per you know the new Dark oh, Knight. Uh, all of a sudden, Terminate. We haven't gotten there yet. Okay, I'm just excited to be here. <laughs> they don't. They don't know. They don't know that. You, I mean, they probably do know. The oh no, they, they, they haven't. Like, they, they couldn't possibly have touched the internet before now. Yeah. <laughs> I forgot that anyway. as I was saying it. I forgot that, that yes, that, that they might have found, <laughs> they, they found it elsewhere probably. before they got here. <laughs> yeah. 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 So anyway, Terminators, and I've been, you know. Uh, just slowly doing bits and pieces on a dread night as well. Sweet. Um, yeah, that's awesome. slowly. I mean, very slowly. Yeah. What about you guys? I've, Lucky. I've been doing a lot. I've actually done more yeah. in the last like two weeks than I've done in like the last like three months. So yeah. I'm just painting nids to get nids up to a point where we can showcase as much on the channel. I'm still waiting on a few models, but yeah, we've we've painted a harpy, a hive tyrant, tyrant guard, and I'm currently. A third through two can't two screamer killers. So, um, 
Yeah, just I trying love to update that. Killers, man. Yeah, trying to update that range, and then we've also got. I'm, I'm halfway through a, a Moirax, um, and then I just bought a whole bunch of World Eaters today. <laughs> it's been like, it's been like <laughs> did, three, did you? Yeah, I spent like three hundred eighty dollars on all World Eaters today. <laughs> That's not what you told me. You said 124. What the hell? No, no yeah, because I spent 124 today, and then yesterday I spent like 170 something, and then the other day I spent like 90 something. So whatever. Oh, so we're at 400. Whatever. Yeah. And I was like, because I've just been, I've been Horace Herod. Like I've been, funnily enough, I've actually been um, uh, uh, into Age of Sigma a lot. <clears throat> you know, I've been real yeah. pumped for um, my um, Sublight Lords, whatever, uh, Vampire Gals. Yeah. And then I was listening to the Return of Nagash book. I was like, man, I was so pumped for this. I'm like, this is so good. And then it just steamrolled back into heresy. I don't know how, but it got back into heresy. And I was like, oh. And then one of the boys in the Discord posted a thing about the new heresy rules. I was like, oh. And then I was watching a video about the new heresy rules whilst buying stuff on Fortnite. I was like, <laughs> Yeah, I, I, I can I can see all this just compounding into a money spending nightmare where you like, it's just all surrounding you being like buy me buy me buy me yeah. buy me. Yeah. <laughs> so I bought like um, a Condemptor of Leviathan, Red Butchers, Sakaran, um, the big tank. No, nah, no, nah, just the main gunline tank. It's like the Lehman yeah. Ross of the Space Marine. It's like the Space yeah. Marine Lehman okay. Ross. Um, okay. Yeah, it was good, and then all the arms and. And then Death Guard Rhino is very, very, very keen for Death Guard. Oh, bro, so cool. Mm. Yeah. Death Guard are like the bane of my existence. I've lost so many games to Death Guard, but then you're So this is, sorry, this is this is 40k Death Guard. This is not 30k Death Guard. This is this is 40k Death Guard. Yeah. Well, we also played some Kill Team recently, didn't we? We played Kill Team last night. <laughs> yes. Right? And yeah. uh, it was hilarious. It was hilarious, which to be expected from Orcs, because I, I, I played Orcs, the commandos out of the Octarius box, and it just... And I played Death Guard they with just... six Marines, so... Was it six? I thought it was four. No, it was five. It was five. Five. Okay, yeah. None of us can count. Um, <laughs> but we just bounced so hard. Like... So, to, to I used my pink dice, finally, because we went on, ca oh, we went, bro. We went on camera, right? So, I had, I had five... It makes all the difference. I have really five does. feel no pains to make on five up. Five five up feel no pains. <laughs> Guess how many I rolled? Every single one. I rolled I rolled three sixes and two fives. And I was like, yeah. and it was so funny because it was mid conversation, right? I was like, oh, how many is it? Five. He's like, yeah, but da, 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 just rolled, and we're like, mid combo just stopped. Both of us were just like. <laughs> yeah. So hilarious. he's taking no damage. <laughs> yeah. Yep. <laughs> And then just clap back like ridiculous. That was a that was a that was a big um that was a whitewash of a game. I think it ended up like two two to ten. Ten. Yeah. <laughs> it was but you know what? It was fun it was and super like fun. we should this, we should just really read the rules more. And this, know what we're and just squeak. play the game more so we know what we're doing. Do the squeak at the yeah, start. The squeak. That was hilarious. <laughs> So, so just for some context for you guys and Dalton, the squigs like <laughs> runs up with these dynamite in his mouth, tries to run up to this death guard. The death guard just like sh gutter stomps him. Like, <laughs> yeah. Runs up, runs up, tries to dump some dynamite at his feet, and the the death guard just gives him a funny look and just like poof, steps just, on him. Just punts, punts the dynamite away. So it was yeah. it was the icon bearer right who his activation stomped up to the objective was like bang yeah action planting right so now everyone's getting yeah. a boost to their disgusting resilience we get charged by the bomb squig and he's like huh <laughs> gong 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 overwatch for free because we have less models right or whatever yeah, yeah. gong 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 take a bunch of wounds then he attacks does nothing and i attack and i'm like Squish, <laughs> and then I then I try try and roll oh, the, yeah, the, the, the bomb death. going off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the explode on death thing. It just did nothing. <laughs> and then you know the funniest thing is later in the game, he did it again. It didn't move like yeah. the same. Michael Barris is on the same thing. Like Overwatch, someone came in charge of, <laughs> and then kills kills the grot. <laughs> Oh, it was, it was the, the, the grunt's got his grappling hook. He like yeah. flies over a wall it, with yeah. his grappling hook, and his little axe, and he's like, "What?" <laughs> the death guard's like, oh. uh -huh. <laughs> shoots him out of the air. <laughs> it was so good. 
Yeah, I can't. Uh, I can't wait to have Kill Team on the channel. It's so much fun. Yeah. yeah. Particularly because it, because I think the thing that makes it so fun is because it's a it's a fifty minute hour investment when you don't know the rules. And so it's like when you know the rules, it's like a 35, 40 minute investment. And you, you play like three games in an afternoon and just you know really shoot the shit with your friends and just do really crazy stuff like like what we played last night. Mm. And it's it's super chill and super enjoyable for way to spend an afternoon. It feels way less intense. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. What have you been working on, um, Dalton? Well, I've been busy as well. Um, I've finished... So I've put the finishing touches on 15 Chaos Space Marines um, for the for the studio army. Um, I just finished those off. And painted a full Blood Bowl team. Um, halflings and Treatment. Yeah, because uh, you played Blood Bowl. Was that the first time you were playing Blood Bowl last week? Or yeah, I, I played Blood Bowl 2 on the... On the PC uh, a, a while ago, um, yep. and then uh, yeah, one of the guys in the Discord, one of, one of my mates, was like, "I've got a Blood Bowl team if anyone wants one," and I'm like, "Well, if you insist." Well, twist my arm. Yeah. <laughs> um, so I bought a, a halfling team in Blood Bowl because I've heard they're a good one to get started with. Uh, yep. <laughs> as in, because they're uh, good. No, no. As in, as in, they're one of the hardest teams to play in the game. Ah, oh, uh, that was. <laughs> a, that they're was a, a terrible starter. Start, start, start. Oh, okay, right. right, right. <laughs> But I'm like, yeah, I'm, I'm in. I'm, I'm here for it. Yeah. Played a game, absolutely loved it. It's it's a fantastic, like, tight rule Wait, set. Wait, so and you it's such a hilarious game. You said Halflings and Treemen, so it's yep. Merry, Pippin, and Treebeard? Yes. Yeah, 100 That is the joke. That's yes. hilarious. That, that, that is what it is. I, I, um, I do love and, the one thing I know about. My favorite bit about it the Halflings have a rule. Uh, now, I want you both to tell me what you think this rule does. And I'm just going to give you the name of the rule. The rule on the halfling is called the right stuff. What do you think this rule does? Oh, nothing I can say on podcast. <laughs> 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 yeah. um, the... <laughs> um, the right stuff. So it's something to do with luck. Like, no, sh- like shit just happens. Right, yeah. I, I, I mean, I assumed he was just going to, like, take a swig from a bottle of something and, like, get... I feel, you know, I feel like it's, like, right, that, that yeah. whole, like... Run rage and run across the board and, like, I don't know. I, I actually I actually don't know. Like an Irish leprechaun-style trope? That's where yeah. I feel like it comes from? Like, the yeah, right stuff. Yeah. It's, like, the gold or... So, like, whatever he... Fair did, enough, Like, yeah. he just turns a dice into a six. Yeah. I feel like that's what... That's gotcha, what yeah, does. yeah. Something like that. Or, I mean, my first thought was, like, it, it'd be something to do with, like, being courageous or honourable. So, something like that, right? Oh, yeah, okay. Yep, yeah, yeah, I can get Now, that. what... But... And th- th- what this rule actually does... This rule means that the player who has this rule is small enough they can be thrown by a larger player. Yes. <laughs> this is... This is, so, this is something that I was aware of, and that was yeah. what I was trying to jump in before and say, is that the thing... The only thing I know about Blood Bowl that is fucking hilarious is bigger players can pick up smaller players and use them to transport the ball. Yes. So, oh, so Treeman can so throw they... halflings across the, across the field. Orcs can do it with... Whether or not they have like, the ball. Rots as well, can't they? Uh... Ogres can, th- yeah, whether or not they have the ball or not, but it's funny when they do. Because uh, <laughs> you can. It's extra. There, 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 there's, a, there's a one turn touchdown play with halflings where you have a halfling next to a tree man to begin with. You have another halfling who picks up the ball off the ground, runs up, does, does a handoff to the halfling next to the tree man. The tree man then picks, picks up, up that halfling, throws, throws him into the opponent's touchdown zone, end zone, and scores a touchdown. Provided they land at all, yeah, uh, or, or throws him into the into the opponent's half and he runs into the end zone. Whatever, yeah, um, yeah. So, so any like big players. So, um, you need to have a rule called throw teammate. So anything like tree men, ogres, um, trolls, anything larger than your standard size dude, essentially, yeah. can throw players that have the right stuff rule. That's hilarious. That's so good. Yeah, I love that. I don't know why we're not doing this in actual football. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Probably just human, having children on the field and just throwing throw each other. Yeah. I don't know, yeah. man. So, 
some of those world's strongest men's just new role for him. Just pick up the quarterback and just <laughs> yeet him over the not it not even that far, but just over the enemy scrum line. Just yeah. yeet him over. Like you get the two boys, two guys at the back, and they just grab him by the belt and just yeet him over the scrum line, and he just runs right. Like it, with two with two blokes, it's not unfeasible, particularly if they're big boys and the, and the quarterback's like pretty small. You know, You're not wrong. Maybe maybe give him like a conical helmet for aerodynamics. <laughs> I can see. No, it. you know what would be better is if you just build little trebuchets or like little catapults and just roll them up. What? Yeah, and then just chuck the dude on the trebuchet and like launch him through. Do it that way. I, don't I, I, I love Lockie that you're so against dwarfs. That's a very dwarf thing to do in Blood Bowl. Oh, don't they, even, they, they, they don't literally even. run like war machines onto the field. They get sent off at half time. I will burn the connection, the internet connection, through to you and like punch you through the internet. No, no. Anyway. I mean, again, very dwarf attitude towards this. I was just thinking in the real world yeah. to throw human yeah. beings because we don't have mythical Well, I mean, they throw they, th- they throw cheerleaders pretty far. So, like, you just need a real small dude. So, like, jockeys. Look, yeah, yeah, yeah. Jockeys and jockeys are now quarterbacks, and you just get two big guys and just yeet them like a they cheerleader. They can't throw them that <laughs> far, though. They're not going to throw them Bro, like, those cheerleaders as, You get it over fly, the line of scrimmage. Have you seen how far? I mean, you could going? get a line of scrimmage, but you're not going to throw it the the distance of a fucking end. Not to the end zone, but you just got to get past that line and run. You just got to get past that line. And then and the dude's run. not going to break his legs yet because he's made of glass. Anyway, nah, he's got to have. You got to give him some milk before he goes. Yeah. <laughs> 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 uh, yes, that's awesome. All right. Um, 40k yes yeah, 40K. Back, back to 40k today's, today's topic so today's topic is it's why massive. I'm so excited about pay, uh, about painting fucking chaos space marines yeah like, me too we death guard and why icon is keen to paint grey knights to paint terminators and why you're keen to paint death guard yeah there's been a big balance death update guard. if you've been if you've been hiding under a rock you probably missed it but there's been a, a big update uh, a new balance data slate has come out um, which is cool. So I think I think we should caveat with this one. With we'll read all of these rules verbatim. We'll read the new ones. Yeah, yeah, like the, the ones yeah. that are changed. But there's yeah. a lot. Um, there's a lot that's changed. A lot that hasn't. Yeah. But so, all... so we we we're probably just going to go through and summarize rather than read them verbatim. Really? But we will link the PDF in the description if you want to read it directly. Okay, we'll do it that way. Um, well, like, uh, uh, I mean, we, we can. There's a lot of them. Th- this is the, the first time they've really changed significant rules that affect the way the game is played. Large swathes of the game. So I wouldn't go as far as say core mechanics because they're not core mechanics. And anyone who says they're core mechanics, no. I'm telling you this right now, anyone who says these things are core mechanics is wrong and don't listen to them because they don't know anything about games and game design. They're not core mechanics, but they are significant factors of how generic systems within the game work, which is, I think that was what is so impacting in this, is that um, there are multiple changes to yeah, big. things that affect everyone, Yeah, which is great. It's absolutely amazing. This, it is, it is. And it was, I don't know, I don't know about you guys, but when this came out, I was like, wow. Like the, well, the, yeah. you and I were together when this yeah, came out, we, and like yeah. I, I had it on my phone. And I was reading it out to you and a couple of mates, and we're like, "What the fuck? That's amazing!" Well, we were and doing the, the, rest, doing the rest of that night was sorry. We were doing ATC prep, prep right, with some of the big, big, big team boys, and we were like, "We were okay, of course, yeah." We, every, that's been announced that we're on that yes, and stuff. So we we can, don't want to go do, into we can, any we can more say detail, stuff but now. yes, <laughs> yes, we were. We we're doing ATC prep, and we're we're doing some stuff with some of the boys. And this came out, and like we were playing a practice game, um, and then for the rest of the night, like our head was no longer in whatever the fuck no, it was we were we doing. Were like, we, don't care. we were like, <laughs> we, oh, we, we don't just... give a shit anymore. This is incredible. <laughs> yeah, um, I'm excited to play Chaos, which you guys will be seeing on the channel in a in a like two or like two battle reports, I think. Yeah, with some fun stuff happening there. But um, well, Patreon, Patreon's like Chaos real. again. Patreons will. Patreons will. Well, not 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 the new updates though. No, not the new. Yeah, the new updates will be in like, I think, yeah, two battle reports time. Not the next one, the one after. You'll be seeing. Yeah, I read courses on the channel. Yes. Um, 
with and the Death Guard with all these new rules. So let's let's, let's crack into it. Yeah, let's I'm excited get, about let's it. Do it. Yeah, let's all right. So the the rule that, that we're all excited for about Marines is called Armor of Contempt. Um, now this affects this Adeptus Bola. Astartes. It does Adeptus Astartes, Sanctic Astartes, Heretic Astartes, and Adeptus Soror- Adeptus Sororitas. Now people will be like, does this affect Sisters of Silence? No, no, you dumb fucks, it does not. Because it's not keyword. So, so this is, this is like, what I'm saying. Read the keyword. So, it's just, not complicated. I think... The, well, does it have the key... No. With this one, I think you probably yeah. should just read this one verbatim. All right, I'll read this one verbatim <laughs> because it, it's a big one. Armor of Contempt. Each time an attack is allocated to an Adeptus Astartes, Sanctic Astartes, Heretic Astartes, or Adeptus Sororitas model, Worsen the armor penetration characteristic of that attack by one. This rule does not apply to any of the following. Models equipped with a storm shield, relic shield, or a combat shield, or relic that replaces one of these shields. Models with either the sacrosanct shield or force shielding ability, i.e. Celestian Sacrosanct and Nemesis Dreadnought units. Models that are under the effect of any other rule that worsens or reduces the armor penetration characteristic of an attack. So yeah, that's the rule. Boom. Like Mike. That's drop. incredible. That's awesome. Yeah. It's, so it's, it's essentially power armor. Is power armor now. Igno- <laughs> like, it ignores a point of AP. So against anything with AP, this is plus one safe. The, the good thing is yep. with this, it says worsen the armor penetration characteristic by one. It's not, yep. it's not by range. It's not reduced. It's not any of that. It's just neg one AP, period. Yeah. Or plus one AP, I guess. You mean plus one save? No, plus one AP. Because AP is already negative. Uh, uh, okay. Words. I'm, I'm making a dumb mathematics joke. Move on. The, <laughs> yes, you are. The, the, the point, dumb the point being of, the operative word. <laughs> well, actually, okay. No, actually, I will argue this point. No, technically I'm correct. Read an AP characteristic of any data sheet. No, no, it's, it's negative. It's a negative. It's negative. Yeah, I understand. So if you want to worsen the AP, you add something to it. Um... Yes. All right. Thank you. Now, math, math. Ha, ha, ha. The, 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 the point being is that, yeah, Power Armor now ignores AP. Um, ignores one point of AP, which is, is fantastic. So, so the good things um, here is that they obviously, you know, covered themselves with the stupid stuff that would, they would normally let through the gaps, i.e. shields and, you know, sisters and, yep. and dread knights. And because the first thing when we, when we went through this, we were together, Dalton, and I was like, oh my God, dread knights are just going to one up save. Yeah. And they're like, no, 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 no. But what this does do is it gives Terminators a whole new lease on life. Oh, yeah. And it's. You can build Terminators without shields now. Yeah. And have them yeah. saving on two. I recently, I recently picked up a and, and like, squad yeah. of assault, inter- assault Terminators with lightning yeah. claws. One, because they were real, real cheap. I am. Two, because. I am so frustrated that I've promised myself that I won't buy a box of Chaos Terminators until I've painted the rest of the army. Because I want to run Chaos Terminators now. That, that, <laughs> like, actually, I that's pussy talk models. right there. That is, that, is, that is not a hobbyist. You are against the people that buy models <laughs> and store models of which they cannot paint. That is un-40k of you. That is un-40k. That is... <laughs> I shun you, sir. I shun you. <laughs> but I tell you, I tell you what I am painting and what you are going to see. Okay, what's that? And what I'm excited about: obliterators. Yeah. Ooh, they're spicy. no longer they're no longer going to melt to AP one. Nah, yeah, fuck yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> I mean, across uh, the board, like I mean, even we, even do obliterators look, not have an invulnerable? Nah, nope. nah. Lame. Yeah. Stupid. But I mean, for, for that matter, CSM. Say, no it's retarded. Uh, actually, they, they might do. Actually, do they? I don't think they do. Man. I'm pretty sure they just have three up save. I think you're. Uh, I think you're. I think it's two. Up Sorry, two. Up I think you're. Two right. up. Just two up. Two up. But I even um, I kind of know. But it. CSM in general is such a cheap chassis to put the upgrade on. Yeah, I mean, but yeah. even yeah, it's what I'm excited about. GK. So, so the, the armies that already have like an inbuilt durability. We're talking Iron Hands. We're talking Salam. Oh, we haven't gotten to the Salamander thing yet. But yeah. um, Iron Black Hands, Templar. um, Black Templars, Death Guard, um, Thousand Sons. Obliterators do have a five up invulnerable save. Oh, okay. Oh, wow. That's good. Um, These units, uh, sorry, these armies that have innate 
um, durability is built into their like sort of core systems. Um, just crazy. Like Titus Shadows with with this is nuts. Death Guard Neg One damage with this is crazy. You know, like um, Iron Hands is like feel no pain everywhere is crazy. Uh, you can just it's 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 this is probably one of the best design choices that I think that they've done without going here's Space Marine 2.0 that just breaks everything and makes everyone feel, oh, here we just go again, it's just Imperium everywhere or whatever. This is going to change up the game from a competitive standpoint so much that it's going to be... But not in a necessarily negative way. 100% positive way. Yeah. 100% yeah. positive way. None of these armies were dominating durability-wise to begin with. Mm. And they're still not, but suddenly they're on the table. Death they Guard are before. now playable again. Like, I'm just saying yeah. straight up now. Like, Death, Death Guard will... Now, we'll, we'll, we'll get to the other Death Guard changes soon as well, because there's some other stuff that makes them even better. Even if it this. didn't have that. But just this from alone. this... Yeah, this alone. This alone. Like, your this... PBCs, which have... I get... They're, they're even better now. So, I, 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 fair enough. I look at Plague Marines, and I go, now I can justify the 21 points for a Plague Marine. Except that Terminator is now also better again, so you can't yeah. anymore. But just that's, from this rule, that's yes, also you true. <laughs> yeah. But we're taking All right. Anyway, let's quickly move just on. for this rule. Yeah, we're good. Let's move on. Um, nothing's changed with the aircraft. Now, indirect fire weapons. This is the the other big change. Uh, really, this is yeah. This is this the three major huge universal yeah. rule changes. And well, the, okay, the, I'd say two, and then like also bodyguard. But yeah, so indirect fire weapons. An indirect fire weapon is one that can target units that are not visible to the bearer, e.g. mortars, smart missile systems, impaler cannons, etc. If such a weapon targets a unit that is not visible, i.e. no models in a target unit are visible to the firing unit when you select it as a target, then each time an attack is made with that weapon against that target this phase, worsen the ballistic skill characteristic of that attack by one, and... Add one to any armor-saving throws made against that attack. Astra Militarum and Indirect Fire Weapons. <laughs> Attacks made with indirect fire weapons by Astra Militarum models are unaffected by any of the indirect fire weapon rules presented above. Awesome. Yeah. Like, this is a change... Awesome for the game, amazing. Yeah. Now, this is not the best possible change they could have made to this. We've discussed before um, the way we think that indirect fire should work, which is how it works in the new Tyranid book. Yeah. Um, but this is still an incredible change that needed to happen and just kicks Tau right in the dick. In the PP. So I think yeah. with, with this, the, um, the, the ballistic skill is a huge hamper on some, and then I understand why they're from a Also, design. very quickly, on that note, Worsen the ballistic skill characteristic of that attack by one is not a, a modifier to the hit roll. Yeah. So this does stack with neg ones to hit. <clears throat> Continue. Um, so I understand from a design point why they've done this. And this is purely just a... Th this, will, this will go away. I, I, I believe right. that this will go away. So th this is to mitigate the, the current standing of issues with Tau, like Dalton was saying with Tau and other bits and pieces, of being so oppressive based on the current state of the game. I do think that this will go away um, because of things that exist, like, for example, the Hive Guard that ignores ballistic skill modifier with this. So um, the new Hive Guard data sheet literally says ignore all hit and ballistic skill modifiers on attacks even from Adelaide. Yeah, but, but we just. But we that's just that's an, that's that... an argument for why this won't go away. No, it's already dealt with. For but them. the weird thing is, is the armor save one. That's why where I look and go, okay, it's a bit strange. From a logical point, you're like, why? And then also because of the fact that Astra Militarum ignore all of that, I do feel that yeah. this is just a, this is a sorry fix I've for gotta, now. I've got to jump in here. Yeah, I've got to jump in here because Dalton just said that this this rule worse than the AP did you not just say it's not a modifier it's not a modifier to your hit roll it's not a modifier to your, your hit roll it's, it's, it's not a modifier to your hit. ballistic yeah, skill so this happens so this that... happens before the hit roll is made and before yeah. the hit roll is modified yeah so does that mean so that means that I've 
that Hive Guard will still be minus one. No, 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 it's no because they, they, they ignore, ignore modifiers to their ballistic yeah, skill. Yeah, they, they, it's, it's ignore hit roll and ballistic skill modifiers. So yeah. they literally ignore any, they, they will always hit on a three, period, okay. pretty much. So which but, they might as well just say but that. Essentially, what I was mentioning was that because hit rolls modifiers, after, after applying all of them, yes. can never oh, be the greater, so the it caps at plus or minus one. Skill, uh, the word the difference here is on the wording of ballistic skill and hit roll yeah. modifier. Exactly. So, yeah. so for example, you can have a you can have a model in dense and be targeted by something indirectly, and they will yeah. functionally have a negative two to hit. Yeah, so they could be hit on threes, and if they're indirect, yeah, they're hitting on five. So for example, like tau, oh no, Markalis. So tau no. far sight. Oh, so within, they will no, no, stack so, so in you that instance. So you can do tau far sight within twelve. No, no, you can't. Nine. That's indirect. Well, it's, yeah, well, they don't know the end. Yeah. Okay, fair. All right. So, so, so essentially, the so point is... the point you can't get a minus two then, because yes. one's to ballistic skill. You can, yes. minus, you can get a functional that. minus two, yes. Functional, yeah, yeah. Um, Ow. Okay. And look, the Astro Militarum changes, I think, are very, very um, yep. understandable. I think it's great. I don't think it's going to yep. break anything. And everyone's going, no, nah, nah, I just think it's perfect. I think maybe, it's- maybe, maybe you'll see them once now. You already are. If you're following the competitive yeah. scene at the moment, you see... Yeah, you are. You're and seeing, that's because of a bunch of stuff that's changed for them later on that we'll get to as well, which is really cool. You're seeing more Astra Militarum players in some of the bigger um, events in the UK and the US than Admech, which is just... Which is awesome. Bonkers. Crazy. Because it's not like Admech are bad. They're, yes, they're hard to they're play, still, but they're still, they're still good. good. They're still yeah. good. You just have you, they, you just have to know what you're doing. Yeah. You have to get some reps in with them, and they can be very good still. So, let's carry on to the last I'm like big change in the universal so rules. Uh, so, bodyguard yeah. abilities. What are you trying to change the that? end Who's of all asking? bodyguard <laughs> abilities from. Enemy models slash units cannot target that character unit with ranged attacks. Two, that Not. character unit can use the lookout What's server, the even if this unit contains fewer than three models. Um, if a okay. unit's bodyguard Anything ability vampire. only affects a specific type of character unit, the updated version of that unit's bodyguard ability still only applies to that type of character unit. E.g., a Crypto Thralls Protectors ability only applies to friendly Cryptic units, and so the new form of that ability also only applies to Cryptic units. The following are Bodyguard abilities Bodyguard, Cold Blooded Bodyguard, Guardian Organism, Guardian Protocols, Honor Guard, Operated Artillery, Protectors, Sworn Protectors, The Vargard's Duty, Watchmen. This rule also applies to the following stratagems that confer a bodyguard ability to a unit. Implacable Guardians, Seer Council, Shield of Honor. Yeah. So, bodyguard is finally not dumb as fuck. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, <clears throat> it's annoying because um, I feel they could have... I mean, it's very similar to what you were saying earlier about they could have taken indirect fire to that next level of better design um yeah i still think that 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 you know and I mean, it, it's the same with this there is a better way to do this yeah agreed which is how which which is how body Again, game how used to work and it's how tyranids it's how the old tyranid book yeah. operated with bodyguard oh, with now that said whatever was transferring wounds it was transferring yeah. wounds yeah so it was better now that said there is an elegance to this that i like so I've seen people saying that this is a lazy way to fix it, and I disagree. This is an elegant way to fix it. This is using a system that already exists within the game and just using that to proc this ability instead. Instead of writing a new bespoke rule for it, they're using one that exists and just modifying it in edge cases. I like that. It's an elegant way to fix this. It makes this rule much more operative. I don't think this is um, lazy yeah. either. I think it's actually quite yeah. It's, exactly, it's a yeah. smarter because it's taking what yeah. you already know and and melding the two. So it's it's yeah. not unfamiliar where you go. Oh, there's a whole new thing I have to fucking learn. It goes. No, I already understand how look at sir works. I already look understand how the, the 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 previous version of bodyguard works. 
I now understand the new version of Bodyguard. I, I, I agree yep. with you, man. I think I think it's quite yeah. it's quite special. And look, and in I fact, am... that's something I've noticed about this balanced data slate as a whole. It's not so the, the last one had a few points in it that were just lazy. The aircraft change, the orcs change, just being like, oh, we're just going to ban this. We're just going to ban that. Can't do that. Well, don't speak That's too a lazy soon. way to fix it. Don't speak too soon. Uh, cause there's a few in, I wonder... Yeah, that's true. Yeah, they but faction, in, they in, faction fuck it a little bit. In general, especially with these universal ones... Yeah, they've done well. They're, I agree. They've done they, really these well. three rules, mm. yeah. I'm... Yeah. I'm here for. Yeah, I'm like, yeah, 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 I like all of these changes. Yeah. They're not the best possible change they could have made, but they're good. They're not bad, put it that way. And as long as it's not yeah. bad, you're on. Yeah. 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 Cool. As long as it's not bad in 40k case, it's good. <laughs> yeah, by GW standards. Well, I, I mean, yeah, by I G- in um, general, so, right? Like, as long as it's not bad, yeah. in, I mean, that's what I'd like yeah. to say. I mean, I, I guess, yeah. Um, I was so, just fine. <laughs> Um, sorry guys so, sorry I'm optimistic fuck yeah <laughs> I was just being funny <laughs> uh, yeah. so, so now so now uh, we're into faction before, stuff yeah so before we get into factions let's uh, have a quick break and hear it from Dice Arcade and we'll be right back DiceArcade.com.au all the biggest brands and miniatures in wargaming free postage over $250 Thunderbirds are go <laughs> Uh, thanks, Tim. Appreciate it. You're a good man. This, uh... It was like... It wants to... Get it was me. like... Sorry, I know this is going to be... Adult and you might not understand because you weren't there. Well, you won't understand because you weren't there. But it was like when, um... Was it Carl or Roski that slapped back with that joke in the... In the... In the, in the Discord? I don't know. I was like, what joke? Oh, you were there. None of us were there. You were there! It was just... Ah... Oh. Damn it, I was really hoping you to come through with me on that one, bro. Right. Um, uh, regardless, anyway. let's, uh, let's push onwards. <laughs> so there have been some changes to the factions. Yep. Uh, in general, I'm pretty happy with most of them. So, uh, for Sisters, Adeptus Sororitas. They're all great. Yep. I, I, I would say they're all great. Oh, well, the, custodi- <laughs> the Custodians players would like to talk to you. Bring it. They're, they're good changes, though. They're still good changes. If anything, yeah. I think... We'll, okay, I would just we'll, say get one... to, we'll get to custodies. We'll get to we'll custodies. Get to custodies. We'll get to wherever these are. All I'm going to say now. is one faction isn't enough. All right. They we'll did, get did, didn't do enough we'll, on one faction, that's all. Yeah, we'll get there. Um, Adeptus Sororitas. Cha- uh, essentially, their miracle turn go... Their miracle dice becomes each turn rather than each battle round. Um, and then they have... Made it so that um, Order of Valorous Heart can stop wound rerolls. Cool. More miracle dice. Good stuff. Um, no, we- no wound rerolls for one of them. Fine. Great changes for plus the neg one. Like the sisters got a huge durability buff with the yep. ignoring neg AP. Granted, we, I, I need a caveat with the um, the models that are under the effects of any other rule that worsens or reduces AP characteristic of that attack. <clears throat> that wasn't originally in it. I'm pretty sure. In what? In what? No, it was. It was no, always that, in that, it? That, that, that was in it. Yeah. In the Armour of Contempt one. Yeah. 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 Oh, okay. Armour of Contempt hasn't changed. Okay. There's only one change to this. Yeah. <clears throat> um, because uh, right. there was all like, oh, maybe you could stack it with Valorous Heart, which is the durability one, which is ignore, um, reduce AP2 AP to AP1. Yeah. But they've, AP1 they've, zero. they've changed that to now be can't reroll wound rolls. Yes. So they've, they've gotten yeah. the um, thingo, thing of the thingo treatment, the um, Salamander's treatment. Yep. yep. 100%. That's fundamentally, it's fundamentally identical. Yep. Uh, cool. I got no problems there. That's cool. Yeah. Uh, so Astra Militarum. The Imperial Guard. Well, so uh, all the old changes are still there, and they've consolidated a bunch of the FAQs and stuff in here. However, there are two big changes here now. Every regiment keyword unit from your army, as long as it's all battle forged and the same regiment and so on, when they roll a hit roll of a six for, for, for shooting range attacks, they automatically wound. Lol. 
Amazing. <laughs> Less tanks. More. Sorry, that's people. not that. Just, there was supposed just... to be more words in. There was supposed to be more words in that. It was less guns killing tanks. Conscript murder. <laughs> yeah. Con I, I, I we, wish I had the models to just we, run we, we five hundred and forty conscripts. Yeah, we did the math, right? This is when this came yeah. out. We were like, how many? We, conscripts the the, the, the night of the our night first of... reaction was how many conscripts how many can we fit can in we a fit? list, <laughs> and we can fit like five hundred and forty or something. Yeah, it's fuck. <laughs> And you can issue most of them orders I don't from even a couple know if of commanders. Can, fit, can you fit 540 in a hammer love... deployment? Yeah, I'm sure. Yeah, surely no. you can. I've seen, I've seen what 190 racks. Models? I've seen what 190 racks looks like in hammer and corners. Can, yeah. can you can you no, save strategic hammer... reserves for three turns? Oh yeah, I guess. But like ha hammer and anvil is long, long deployments. Yeah, yeah. Oh no. No, no, that's still yeah, maybe. Sorry, yeah, it's not a wall. Yeah. Sorry, don't But, wall. yeah, I want to try because it sounds incredible. Um, 540 the, models is a lot. It's a lot. Like, and the other, I've, the other big change. 540 models in total of all the. No, we do. We do. Easy. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Probably. There's more than you think. Um, the other big change infantry squads went up to 60 points. But. But get all upgrades. All of their upgrades, upgrades became free, free. Which is crazy. Which is. Heavy weapon plasma, squads, plasma, 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 mortars that ignore the changes, special Why you say weapons. Mortars like that. <laughs> anyway, continue. Yeah, it's mortar. Mortar. Yeah. You are Mortars. Australian, so it's mortar. Like it's not mortar. mortar. Right. We're not American, mortar. so it's mortar. Guns that it's, shoot over walls. It's M -O -T -A. For free. When you're Australian, there's mortar. Yeah, that's get it. your mortars. There we go. Yeah, yeah get you go. your mortars. There's your mortars. Right. There we go. Right, your mortars became free. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. This is yeah, better. I feel better about this. I know it makes more Plasmus, sense. Yeah. Everything free, free upgrades. So you're paying sixty points for stuff that used to cost, you know, seventy, seventy-five. I mean, cool. like volt casters, right? That means like your power swords, your plasma pistols, like everything. Yeah. You just run one of each. You just check yeah. out everyone to have everything. Now, now there is no reason not to give everyone every upgrade you can. Yeah, and literally, you're, you're probably yeah. saving like what forty points a unit. Yeah. You'd be saving, yeah, yeah. That's good. That's a lot. So <laughs> I think, I think, r realistically, my my list, my list for this is forty conscripts. No, so so realistically, my my list for this is like three, three max units of conscripts, a bunch of uh, Which is guardsmen. Thirty, right? 30, 30 or is it forty? Uh, I want to say forty. Twenty Off the top of my head, So it's one hundred and twenty conscripts, and then you're filling out the rest of your brigade, your other nine. Uh, squ nine slots with infantry squads. You're running. You're running and mortars, mortars. Um, las, <laughs> las cannons, all that kind of stuff. That's the and then you're name. filling out around it with with tanks and and sentinels and that kind of stuff. Which is Adeline. It's just Adeline start shooting at that point, right? You just got pretty your infantry much, yeah. at the front, you, and then you're, you're running. You're running your artillery in the back. That's yeah. it. Yeah, pretty much. At a competitive um, level, and you're like, have fun dealing with you. You do not have enough shooting in five turns. At the rate I can kill you, to you kill me. Yeah. Yeah. Pure, yeah. Particularly with sixes auto wounding is just pew, yeah, pew, pew, yeah. pew, 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 yeah. pew, 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 Run some, run some, run some uh, Punisher Lehman Russes. Oh, yeah. Months. Oh, man. <laughs> Lol. It's, yeah, it's, it's, it's great. Still well, AP zero, right, on all those last guns, right? Yeah. Yeah. But, like, when you're getting that many wounds through, it doesn't matter. Yeah, yeah, 100%. Like, yeah. 600 um, shots, you're going to roll... 61s. But the thing the is, like, army, okay, yeah. heavy bolters now just, like, became good. When you can, like, mass spam heavy bolters in things like Bane Blades and stuff, you know? Mm -hmm. Still, like, even, even, literally, like, Bane Blades. Yeah. If you hit on a 6, you're sick. You're hitting on a 4 anyway, so you might as well just fucking try and Hail Mary the 6. Like, meh, whatever. Yeah. yeah. How many bat reps? Everything, yeah. How many? I think what we've used, we've I've used a bane blade in two bat reps, and both of them I've done literally nothing to wound. Yeah. <laughs> it's come to the cannon. So this, this would have been amazing. <laughs> okay, I I can't wait for you to hit with every shot on a four and a five. I know, right? So yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, moving on. Yeah. All right, moving on. Adeptus Custodes. Um, Obsec is now only troops, like everybody else. It's, it makes sense. That's, it, that's it does. massive. It does. 
it's okay. It's this big. is this is the biggest like thing where you're like, all right. This is the one I disagree with the most. I don't disagree with it in general, but this is the one I disagree with the most. Um, because you can argue for the custody's shtick to be durable and obsec. So yeah, well that that, that was their shtick, right? Yeah. They got, they got twelve models. Well, they were man. they were durable. Yeah. So so I will say that the obsec sits in a more game design ability rather than an army specific ability. Yep. I so the prefer... reason the reason that I disagree with you is that Custodes' shtick is that each of them on their own are supposed to be these individual, you know, heroes that go off and do stuff. Yeah. And it's the same reason I think all Custodes units shouldn't be like, you know, three to, to six. It should be one to six. Whatever. Every single Custodes unit should have the option to take them as one man. Yeah, that, 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 that's that's fine. I, that, that, that's, but that's but cool. but by the same token, this I liked this when it was just from a fluff and a law perspective, obviously it needed to change for game balance. But from a fluff and law perspective, I liked it that all their infantry had obsec. But the thing is, they've already got the counters too, right? So yes, you, yeah, you, yeah. You're, you're, so you're, so you're, you're not you're losing doubling, it entirely. You're doubling down, and again, the the counters too is the faction thing. Yeah, so obsec should still obsec only. You shouldn't even have abilities that can turn something that's not obsec to obsec. You shouldn't be able to turn off obsec. It should just be that game wide, it's just a troop ability, or it's a you know a, an equivalent to what is your troop based on your faction, right? So for Adeptus yeah, Custodes, yeah. their troops are still their you know their their custodian guard. You know for knights, it's their homages, whatever, or you know however. It yeah, is. yeah. The core of that system that they've kind of you know amalgamated together finally works. Remove all the bullshit, because that's one of those things I think that starts to get some weird ambiguity with like faction bonus and faction benefits and faction man this and yeah, that and yeah. the other which kind that, of that, that, that's, that's clouds I, I it. Kind of get that. And where I was like that's why I was looking at this going nah I'm yeah cool. Okay yeah. so, so, so like because they still count okay, a double right? They I don't, I don't have a problem with this change per se. It's a good change. Yeah. And they still know, count a double. It's a good thing for right? it to happen. They still count as double. So yeah. this is a good thing. It's still good. I'm just saying like, out of these three this is the one that I can see the most validity in the argument against it. Okay. Interesting. So the, the next one, um, <clears throat> add the following to three strats. So, so three strats can now only be used once. The esteemed amalgam, esteemed. emperor's auspice, and martial discretion strats. Do you want to say That's what they fine. are? That's fine. They are off the top of the so, head. So uh, martial discretion is change your carta. Change emperor's, your yep. Yep, emperor's auspice is rerolls. get rid of rerolls. Which is 100% yeah, good. that one, you guess. Yep, yeah. fair. And esteemed amalgam, uh, that's the one I'm struggling to remember which one it is. But I don't know the book in front of me. But I can think of I can think of a game at Masters that would have gone very differently for me had Emperor's Auspice only been able to be used once. Yeah, it's, em- it's big. Emperor's Auspice. I mean, I still cannot. Don't 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 get high up on your horse because we argue this every time. But I still, and I'm not going to get into it. But I cannot understand, and I never will understand why Tanglefoot is still fucking one CP. I, I, I don't get it. One of the one of the most powerful stratagems in the game is one CP. For anyone to fucking use, whatever. If it's, it's because whatever. it can only be used once. As long as it's out, it can only be used once, like per per phase, obviously. Yeah, but still per phase. So it's not it's once. A, it's not once per it's game. A charge twice. That's it. No. I have two charges going. It, it, that, that, it, it's a game winning stratagem. It's a game winning stratagem that costs one. Any stratagem in the right scenario, in the right circumstances, is a game winning stratagem. No bullshit. And we weren't Wrong. getting into this. Uh, okay, yeah. Okay. So, so, so okay. <laughs> we're, we're, Th- and this that is, is a that whole is not, thing in and of true. itself. That is but... not a true statement. Like, straight up. Oh, it. here we go. It isn't. All right. Here we're, we're, not, on, we're, we're, <laughs> we're not getting into this here. We will at Let's some point. Let's get ready to... It's, Actually, you but we're not gonna... that. You have to pay money to that. Yeah. We're, we're not going to get into this here. It's another conversation. But I understand, your frustra- I understand your frustration with that. I, I don't disagree that it should have shown up here in this list. Yeah. Yeah, even a two uh, to three. Just like give, yeah. give, give, give purely it the variance. From, give it the variance. Purely, purely the from okay, whatever. Yeah, but purely from how how powerful it is. Like yes, it is definitely powerful. I'm fine with it where it is, but I wouldn't have complained if it had shown up here. Yeah, as as a strat that can only be used once, or if it had gotten more CP to use. No, it. I, th- I think the once thing would have been fucked. I, I know. I think that would be too heavy. But I think in terms of just increase the cost. Let's just increase the cost. 
Anyway, that's not the point. It's not relevant. It's not relevant. I, I disagree that it needs it, but I wouldn't complain if it happened. Yeah. yeah. Um, the final thing was that uh, arcane genetic alchemy, transhuman, and Emperor's Auspice, turn off free rolls, can only be used on inventory. Cool. Oh, wow. All, 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 all that is, is, a, is just bikes got worse. I nah. already don't like bikes. I mean, like, they're good. They're fast. They're durable. They hit hard. But they're not as... They're... they're for what you're paying for them, for Custody's bikes, they're not efficient. They're not as durable as they should be. No, they're not. They, they're they, they easy feel to very flimsy. Take it from yes, someone exactly. Who's like smash, smash, smash and, a few custodies. And they were they're not, they were not easy. Difficult. They were easy to kill before these changes. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm not concerned about them for this. If you liked bikes and you want to run bikes, great, go for it. They're still good. If you didn't like them, well, then it doesn't matter for you anyway. If you're if you're playing competitive custodians, you're not taking bikes because they're going to be the most durable thing in your list because they're not already. Well, it depends. Again, it depends on how you use them. It depends what your local meta is. It depends on all sorts of stuff. Yeah, I suppose so. But in general, in, in general, I think I think people have lost their minds over the second bullet point being you know the, oh, strat- mate, the, the salt the salt in the custodians Facebook oh. group is in, is hilarious. Like, oh, I love it. Sorry guys that you guys had like a what sixty eight percent win rate and like. Yeah. have a thing that don't get me wrong they got hit hardest I think out of everyone them and them and the tower <clears throat> because Farsight specifically got dumped on yeah but nothing else really anyway we're gonna move yeah. on Adept was making right. what else changed uh, Ad- Admech uh, which changed through here uh, a few things did actually so it did was, they it's, it's a lot of stratagem changes so I think no I think a lot of these are brought in from FAQs and oh, are they yeah okay yeah I don't play Admech, so I wouldn't know. Um, I think Enrich Round Stratagem being one, two, that was an that, FAQ. That changed a while ago. Um, clandestine uh, clandestine mm-hmm. Infiltration Stratagem can only be used twice. Twice, yeah. And then the, the next one below that as well is also new, I think. Yes. Add the, yeah. the acquisition at any cost. This is the one CP to... Reduce uh, cost, right? This is, this is the one CP to... Um, automatically pass morale if you're near an objective can now oh, yeah. only be used once per game cool. so anyone who, who's querying that like what do they mean by once per game per game. they mean one per game and if you don't play it one per game you're a fucking idiot yeah it's actually, it's actually once per like life so yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> once you've used it you don't get to That's use it ever ever, yeah. ever 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 for a game <laughs> Of course, um, it just means once yeah. per game. Jesus, man. Once is once. <laughs> uh, so, uh, as we mentioned Space earlier, moves. Salamanders, instead of um, Whatever they reducing before. AP by one, they now, you cannot reroll wound rolls against them. It is this is huge. Salamanders, man. Cool. Awesome. I'm, yeah. yeah. I'm, Sa- Vulcan's a legend. Salamanders are cool. Uh, aside from them being kind of the quote-unquote good space marine um they're a bit lame from that regard but everything else they kind of call they're, they're they're yeah they're just like the the big guy from the longest yard they're like he broke did my nose <laughs> they so are <laughs> he's, i feel like the uh, legion is dumb but vulcan is smart it's kind of one of those no, but, no, it's a, he broke did my nose and like, i think he did it on purpose it's like it's like <laughs> For everyone that hasn't watched the longest yard, the remake too. The uh, the remake. Was, was, that, was there a remake? One. What do you mean? Oh, the original's that, that, that from sound... like the seventies. Yeah, I know. That's the one I've seen. Yeah, the I didn't know there was a remake. That sounds incredible. All right. Um, it's now, Chaos Space Marines. Nothing's changed. Nothing's changed. Death Armor God. of Contempt is massive for. Them. No, no, before before Death Guard, before Death Guard, Chaos before Death Guard. Very okay. quickly. <laughs> very quickly, Chaos Space Marines. Armor of Contempt is the only change for them. The reason that I'm convinced that it's one, they're one of the armies that benefit from it the most is because their cheap. bodies they're are so cheap. cheap. It was like you're you're points. giving you're giving an, a a buff an upgrade to any given number of models, and with Chaos Space Marines, more models than anyone else are benefiting from it. Yeah, it's great. Now Death Guard. Uh, one change. It's massive. It's a big one. It's big. Plague Marines are still garbage. <laughs> yeah. Blight, Blight Lord Terminators and Death Terminators gain Obsec. Amazing. Uh, 
Money moves. Yeah. Suddenly, those four points more you're paying for them are 100% worth it. Every day. Bro. Any day. You know what? Even a, even a six-point increase, you'd be like, fair enough. With the neg yeah. one AP and that, you're yeah. like, hell yeah. That's, yeah. And again, Every this day. is just going to cement my argument again for Blight Lords over Dash Mountain. They're so good. Well, like, now that body, now I mean, that okay. Does, now that body does look, nuked. look, throw throw a throw a couple of de- doom stalkers into them and roll some sixes. Oh, It'll be fine. Whatever. <laughs> Let's not talk about that. Just 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 roll sixes, man. It's easy. Hey, you wait till the new dice come. Just, and it's just roll different. sixes. It's gonna be, actually, yeah. It's gonna be a different fucking <laughs> level of gameplay. You watch the whole risky roll channel. Meta change. The risky roll of meta is just. Changing the risky roll of meta has nothing to do with lists, nothing to do with players. It's all about it's color all to of do dice. With juju. That's that's well, all we know. Juice. We know that's the truth. We know this. We, we know we it's know true. That. All right, calm down. Um, no, seriously, this <laughs> yeah, is yeah. obviously this is it's, it's never going to stop me from taking one. Because at the end of the day, yes, bodyguards taking a nerf, but it's still untargetable unless they have snipers. Oh, big deal. Most, especially for death guard, a sniper's not killing a death guard character. Period. Tower path, tower pathfinders, and the death jester from Harle- from Harlequins are the only decent snipers in the so game. So the death jester, Kel- which we'll Kel- get to, Kel- just Kel- got Kel- nerfed as well. Yeah, tell Kel- him Kel- garbage. Move on. Yeah. Sorry. Um. Yeah, uh, we'll, 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 we'll 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 get Kel- we'll get there. Kelamorph's fine, but it's not it's, it's yeah, not ideal. It's not crazy. Um, it's not Pathfinder or Death Jester level. No, the Death Jester got no. nerfed massively to do with it, yeah. one of the changes it, that we'll get to. It, it, it did, but it's still one of the best snipers in the game. Eh. I wouldn't be worried no, no. About, about your Death about your Death Guard characters. Like, seriously. It's, I, I wouldn't worry too much. It'll roll hot, and in two turns, it'll kill a character. Yeah, it's fine. Like, but yeah, I buy your second turn anyway. If, if they're shooting at your character, not other stuff, well, then you're probably doing something wrong anyway. Yeah, yeah, yeah um, exactly. But... Um, I, I've always been a huge advocate for Blight Lords over Death Shrouds, um, just from my own usage and just the fact that they can shoot. They can shoot with Melta, they can shoot with all sorts of stuff. Um, now that you can just deep strike an objective and just be like... This mine now. And I hold it, like... Yeah. Awesome. Plus they're like essentially one-up save. Put them in... Cu- it's just... I ah, love it. It's good. It's yeah, yeah, good. Yeah, I'm so excited to play Death Guard now again. You know, being one of my mains, I'm just like, yeah, I'm pumped. Yeah. I'm pumped. Yeah. It's cool. Uh, so, uh, Drakari Dr- haven't changed. Uh, they've just consolidated a bunch of FAQs and erratas. Necrons haven't changed. Orcs haven't changed. Harleys, of course, You know course, what? I want to touch on changed. that, though. Armor yep. of Contempt yep. everywhere, 50% of the armies. I've seen it a lot. I tend to agree. Orc combat is in a pretty bad place, and that's sort of yeah. where they like to get their damage out. And that's like- true. The funny thing with orcs is I'm actually surprised they didn't remove this considering. Uh, I I don't think no, we're in a, this, I don't this think we're in a have... situation where the the spam of of trucks would actually be a problem currently. Given the change to Adelanosite Fire? Yeah. The change I'm to Adelanosite Fire, maybe. the other armies that exist, i.e. Tyranids and all the Eldari and everything yeah. else, I don't see, think Okay, see I I, I disagree because the saying that the because there exist other armies that are just as busted, I, I still disagree with your argument. On that. Well, the argument is that that is no longer busted, that's right? The, that's and the and I, I would say I would say I say potentially, but yeah. I say d- don't 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 bring the other armies into it because that's not really helping you. Here. I, I, yeah, I, I just don't think spam. But as far as I don't think it's is yeah, gonna, is gonna be meta shifting to the point it was previously. Where I think yes, that yeah, I'll agree they with could have pulled that away, and it's not gonna be. If anything, it would actually I reckon it might even make it better because I, it just creates more yeah. things that people need to cater for, i.e., making yeah. more varied and more general lists, right? Yeah. Yep, I'd agree with you on that one. Yeah, I, th- I think they could have removed the orc limitations on buggies, and it would have yeah. been fine. Yeah. That's um, it. Let's, Harleys. Harleys. Uh, so the Mirror Architect Pivotal Roll, um, which is the one that gives everything within, what, six inch, Everything within nine, nine. inches uh, extra six inch range away. Now yeah. you have to choose a single core unit within yeah, nine. Yeah, it's not Nora. It's choose one now. Choose, so which now- is, it's still good. Still but it's good, no but longer not, my entire not. army is now six inches further away yeah. I, I because of reasons. I don't, I don't think you're ever taking that now because it's core. And Void Weavers aren't core, so who the fuck cares? Really? Yeah, but also, Void. Uh, we'll get to Void Weavers in a minute. 
I think it's still good because void weavers are no longer the best thing in the book. Um, yeah, I just don't think you're, you're so, spe- so spending a warlord trait on that anymore. That's why I mean, like, I, I, I but compared to the other warlord traits, it's yeah. still good. Um, change the speaking of which warlord traits, change the favor of say a pivotal role, not warlord trait. Change the favor of Segarek warlord trait to read once per turn when you make a melee hit roll, a melee wound roll, or saving throw for this warlord. After making the roll, you can treat the result as an unmodified roll of six instead. Now, the big change here: this used to be right. a hit roll period, yeah, ranged or melee. So this is what, this is what made before. the death jester. So this is what okay, the death jester is still a good sniper. D uh, D three plus three damage. Explodes. Yes, D D three plus three damage. You know, hitting on twos, wounding most things on twos or threes. It's still a good sniper. But it's no longer automatically because there's a, another thing you, on a six on a six to hit you get two additional yeah. um, hits. This you used to be able to take this on it automatically make its hit roll a six and then you had three hits with this sniper. You can't yeah. do that anymore. It's still a good sniper as far as snipers go. This and Pathfinders with rail rifles are the best snipers in the game. But it's no longer suddenly oh I'm going to delete a character a turn period. Which is, which is cool. Yeah. It's good. It's it was thing. stupid. It was stupid the way it was. Like, oh, yeah. and then also, because you can just turn with Harley's, you can just turn a hit roll into a six, right? That's the death judge. So you can just turn his data sheet ability. You just turn one hit yep. roll into a six. And it's like, yep. oh, I, I hit with one. Oh, now I hit with four. Like, Fuck off. Yeah. Like, was, straight up. Like, it's just like, that's just fucking dumb. Yeah. So now having the negation of that, you're trying to go, cool. All right. Cool. Yeah. Makes sense. I, I yeah. like that change. I really like that change. Yeah. And then we've had two points changes. Star Weavers, uh, one model each, and only one model in the unit, goes up to 95 points. Sure, fine. Not a problem. What were they before again? No idea. No one took them. I think like because 85? Void Weavers... 85? I think I, I think they were 85, yeah. Yeah, they were 10 points. Void Weavers were 90 before. <sighs> yeah, they've gone up 40. They've 40 gone up points. 40 fucking points. As they should. To 130 points per model. Uh, the unit size is still one to three and they haven't, so people were thinking they were going to go the orc route and just be like, you can only take one unit, which, which you've heard me talk about before and it's a dumb, lazy way to fix it. They haven't, they've adjusted points, which is what the point system is there for. Yeah, exactly. This is, this is how you fix this. You go, oh, they're better than we thought. We'll increase points because that's why we have a points based system. Yeah. Yeah. So perfect. I'm fine with this. 130 points. Honestly, that's still not bad. Yeah, you still take six. Uh, I'd say you still take three. Uh, yeah. I don't know. I, uh, yeah. I, I'm you're if, I'm if you're four, running, I'm if you're running, two. if you're running pure Harlequins, you I think you still take three. Uh, I think just three. No. One unit of three is fine. So, and, and then you you run up on troops and their the I would I would go four for a quarter. That's what that's where I would sit. You know, okay, two, yeah, all right. Two units to right, two I'll, for I'll, a quarter yeah. of your army is like your 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 backline heavy like support. Yeah, all right. I'll I'll, I'll give you that. that. That's 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 fine. I mean, it's the same discussion as to do I take two units of two destroyers or one unit of three destroyers. It's the same argument. You go back and forth on it. I'm currently sitting on the fence of, of one unit of three. Yeah, two I'm, units I'm two, two is two guy. I, I, yeah. I like the ability, ability of yeah. options. I've, I like options. Yeah. You know, I, I, I get that. I, I've I've tried that. The one unit of three is. I, I tend to find you can hide it easier and you can look after it better. But yeah, it's much of a much. Just, it's going to depend on how you want to play them. Of course. But this is a great change because Harlequins are still good. I wouldn't say this knocks them out of the, out of contention for competitive forty k. No, because now now you pivot. Maybe you're you're not you're not taking as many void weavers. Taking troops. You're taking jet bikes. Um, I don't know about taking not, jet bikes. Yeah, uh, they can still turn one charge they, from fucking a pretty massive deployment. It's still it's there's, still good. Yeah, their movement is yeah. insane. They're like thirty six inch start range on turn one. Something like it's that, crazy. Yeah. It's, it's nuts. nuts. Yeah. You get an angle deployment. There, and you, you can have like. You know, 12, yeah. 13 bikes. God, in your face God forbid you get, um, you get, what is it, sweep and clear deployment. No, you're fucked. Like, <laughs> you're, you're like, as in like... You're 18 inches in, away to start with. Like, it'll take you yeah. two turns to wipe them because they're all got four up in those. And yeah. then you just like, oh, that's annoying. So 
as much as there's been some mitigation here, it still hasn't fixed Harlequin issues. Harlequin I, I, I disagree. Hard. I think this has fixed them in the sense that they're still strong, but they're no longer got a 70-something percent win rate. They'll settle down to somewhere uh, probably above 50, but I don't think they'll hit 60. Well, the Neg 1 to hit thing is huge. Like the first one, the Mirror Architects yeah. thing, that was yeah. that was the pivot. That's that was the, the biggest... Th- that and the Void Weavers are the two biggest changes. Yeah, and which was... Because, it, because what it was, it was those two ones. things in combination... So the other you, problem... you, would, you would have nine Void Weavers, which were the most efficient firepower per point in the game, yeah. that just couldn't be hit. The problem is you've still got the um, nine-inch aura of Neg Wonder Wound, which That's also fine. still exists, and you're just like... It's the... good, but it's fine. It's still annoying. It's not transhuman across your entire army like some things have. Mm. No, it's not... Who has that? Person. That's that would be that would be yeah yeah that would be only okay kind of strong yeah <laughs> okay <laughs> Tau Empire <laughs> this is the other the other big army of course you had Harlequins you had Custodes you had Tau Tau Empire the second bullet point of the Montcar ability which throw uh, all your models in the bin yeah <laughs> uh, es- es- essentially it changes the um, second bullet point to real wounds of one within range. No longer just period. It's within the same Montcar range as the extra AP. Oh, so you still get the extra AP. I read. Oh, wait, I read. Uh, no, sorry, sorry. This replaces the AP with, yeah, with this. I was gonna, instead I was of, say, yeah, sorry, I'm, um, yeah. yeah. That's what, that's what this replaces the AP, the negative one AP with so uh, you don't get, reroll or wound roll of yeah. one. So you don't get an extra pip of AP from one card which stacks yeah. really nicely which is massive like that yeah. is now now, such a huge now you just point. re-roll re-roll ones to wound that's it okay whatever fine which is which is, is still good ones or re-roll a one uh no, re- ones. re-roll wound roll of one for everyone yeah re-roll wound so which is fine. re-roll all ones to wound cool yeah. that's what it should be that's fine that's fine the extra ap was fucked bonkers yeah, yeah. the fucked. far side the far side enclave Farsight Enclave Marker Light range, instead of being 12 inches, is now 9 inches. But like which, Farsight, that's that's pretty rough. Yeah, that was heavy. I don't know if I necessarily agree with that. I, I would have rather I, them, them fix Crisis and not change that, to be honest. See, I see the, the, the problem with that, and this so is a whole design philosophy question that you go with, is that do you, do you adjust the data sheet to deal the with faction. the edge case yeah. or do you adjust the faction to deal with yeah. the edge case and I think this is a I would argue this is a I better like way to da- deal with it oh, I like the dodge Bec- now, now no one takes because the, the, the problem see I'd, yes and no people who play Farsight can still take Farsight and have a good time with them but whereas if you adjust the crisis data sheet suddenly everybody who plays Tau of any faction doesn't take crisis well, I don't mean nerfing it in the sense that All right. nerf it out of let's, existence. Let's be real here. They would fuck it. it yeah, they would true. fuck it. Yeah. So I'd rather them fuck one that is sub-faction yeah, than a data sheet that every sub-faction wants to use. That makes sense. I can, I can, yeah. I can understand that. Um, now, the next one. Broadside really, battle suit. Yep, really, sorry, sorry just quickly, realistically. Nine, nine inches is still deep strike range. So you're still... No, proc- you're not getting it on deep strike. Because you're more than nine inches for deep strike. That's why this is big. Oh yeah, you're not even within yeah. nine inches. But there are two ways to get advanced shooting with Farsight turn one that can that are more or less deep striking turn one that it can get you within nine if you need to. That's annoying. So you need to proc your marker light, then do your drops drop zone clear strat. Yeah. So, so, so all 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 that happens here is oh <sighs> so be it. So Farsight take a unit of Pathfinders now. Yeah, Farsight. Farsight, yeah. Well, what, Whatever. An extra unit. Pathfinders are already good. Exactly. You're already. You should already be taking pathfinders. Um, the next thing is that broadside battle suits lost the core keyword. Fine. Good. Lockie will still bitch about them not still being infantry. We're not going to talk about it. But We're but not about it. that's on. not an issue with broadsides. It's an issue with the infantry keyword as a whole. Uh, moving on. And walkers. The repulsor- and walkers. We should have yeah, a yeah. walker keyword. So the we should have a fucking- G-Dub doesn't utilize the keyword, keyword system enough. Said this before. The keyword system is. Fucking an awesome piece of design philosophy that Games Workshop implements and does very well in their game design. Make it better by expanding on it. Make it more yep. robust. Make it more diverse and build upon that system. That system is yes. such. It's a backbone of current like ninth edition forty k, and it can 
create so much depth to the game as a functional system. Double down on it. It's great. Yep. You need a walker keyword. Dreadnought should not be vehicles. They should be walkers. Just like yep. Bellastari, just like Battle Suits, just like all these. Yes. You can make multiple new keywords that affect stratagems, that affect relics, that affect fucking all these different bits and that pieces. That affect you terrain, can... that affect everything. Exactly. You can make yeah, more game... keywords. Oh, just make more an appendix, keywords. Right? Yes, exactly. Yeah. It'll make the game great again. To be fair, make I make America uh, great again. <laughs> <laughs> hey, maybe we've got uh, the same and, thing floating around here at the moment. Yeah, uh, and then we've got repulsive impact fields and photon grenade stratagems. Uh, these are the minus two to charges that you could stack. You can't. Stack now them. they don't stack. Yeah. Cool. With anything. Cool. That's fine. Uh, it's a good change. You can no longer sit there with a negative six to charge or some shit you could pull out. Um, Anyone who wanted to play it that way, you tell them to fuck off anyway. Really? Yeah, yeah, to be fair. Because, so, I mean, that's 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 playing rules as written, not rules as intended. And yeah. If you're at, at a, a tournament, tournament, at a tournament ob- yeah, at a tournament, obviously... You're Outside that TO, setting? If you're playing with your mates, dick. your mates are doing that, well, maybe that's not a mate, you should be playing with them. Like, what's this guy? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Cool. So, overall, the Tower Empire changes, they're a little heavy-handed on Farsight specifically, but overall, good changes. Tower still good. Um, with the changes to indirect fire, it just means now you're no longer spamming spam missile systems. You're no longer spamming um, what's the other one? Airburst fragmentation launches. Yeah. You're, you're thinking more about it. Those are still good weapons. Indirect fire still has utility. Well, now you build units. You build units for purpose, right? So if you are exactly. going to build your airburst, it's your infantry killer, or it's your, you know, yeah. if you're going to build your yeah. plasma guy, it's your whatever. Like it, yeah, it's, exactly. It's, yeah. I would have loved to Tau to be nerfed into absolute negative existence to not exist ever again for the entire 9th edition. Because I yeah, fucking hate Tau and the whole faction should just die. But, you know, we, 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 we didn't get that far, unfortunately. <laughs> unfortunately, they're still here. Unfortunately, they still exist. <laughs> so, hopefully we can just, you know, I don't know. Maybe just just go back to the point where they weren't relevant, no one was playing them, and that was fine. I mean, to be fair, <laughs> law wise, they're still not relevant to it. <laughs> yeah, I know. Can we Squats just... are more relevant to the Imperium and the galaxy as a whole than Tower. And even they're not even that relevant. Like, fuck. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. No. Tau don't. Tau don't. There are bigger alien empires like the the Rakgol and stuff. Rakgol are, are sick. And the Hrud. That are more re- and the, and the Hrud. And the Hrud. That yeah. are more that are more fuck relevant to the galaxy as a whole than yeah. Tau. That have Crow- never had Crow- models. Is. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. Crotalid oh, you know, migration into yeah. your home planet. And your home planet. Just like, imagine Crotalid. I mean, it wouldn't happen because of the Emperor, right? But just imagine if they like someone just. Hey, this is a bit of funny. When the um, Ast- Astronomicon just like shut off. Yeah. Imagine just Crotalid invasion into Terra. <laughs> but but they <laughs> don't. Do they? Do they? They don't do it consciously. Do no, they, they don't do it consciously. Just, but that's what I'm saying. They just. just but, I imagine that. The astronomican is literally like psychically blocking things like crotalid and probably like I'm sure there's like void whales and yeah. shit as well, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That as so they don't you know just teleport into you know, you know the golden terror. spire of the terror or whatever. Yeah, yeah. But just imagine if it did, they're just like what crocodile, just like street sharks, and they're just like warps out of there. It's like oh fuck! It's like where did old mate Jerry go? You're like oh, I don't know, some fucking croc came and ate him. Eaten by a space crocodile. You're like, sitting there, a, a space know, hell a cro- crocodile. A crotalid half warps into your wall, and you've got it's like out <laughs> in the wall. You know what would be hectic is if it like if its head warped into one room. And its legs warped into another room, and then that's it what ate I was you. basically trying yeah. to say. Yeah, and then it eats you, and then the <laughs> other legs stuck. like knocking everyone else around, and then it warps back in to reality on the other end, and half of you's there, and the other half's not there. That'd be pretty fun. Yeah. yeah. Um, awesome. <laughs> but uh, oh, well, actually, Karen... you know, it'd be awesome if if there was a new orc model where orcs were riding crotalids and they just teleported around the battlefield oh, randomly that would be dude, incredible be... <laughs> just like r- 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 randomly select one table quarter yeah, 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 randomly, so scatter randomly. dice no 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 no. we we'll bring back yeah. scatter dice no, no, it, it, randomly select table quarter uh, and then like random and then uh, place your scatter dice scatter twice 2d6 and it, 
<laughs> and then they just land there. But and, it, and and it, it's fundamentally deep strike every turn, but you don't know where you're going to land, and you can end up yeah. in engagement range. But also, yes. if you land <laughs> in a terrain piece, you automatically teleport to the nearest character. <laughs> what? Why? Why not? Fuck it. Why not? <laughs> the wall. Who cares? Yeah. <laughs> and if there's Zinch on the table, it just doesn't happen. No, you teleport to the nearest character. You, you teleport and attack the nearest character. But the but the key word is the key word there is character, not enemy. Ca- character. Yeah, no. It's, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And then, yeah. And then yes, and then you have to attack that character. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Yeah, you have to do your full attack. 100%. And you have to use every stratagem available on to buff that <laughs> no. attack. No, no, no. It, it would just be that the crotalists themselves to spend nine CP. have to that's attack. Lo- that's just everyone has to play like Lockie now. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. You have to spend nine CP on this one model. Yeah. No, 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 yeah, the crotal, the crotal in itself has to, yeah, let's do it. We should, we should make yeah. a, hey, we should do that for Chrissy. We should. We should write we should a House rule a bunch of these how, other, yeah. yeah. Write a stupid right. bunch of rules, write a custom mission. Yeah. And hey, if you guys have um, thoughts. If you guys are keen for this, you guys have thoughts Jump on, stuff, jump on the Discord. Below, jump in the Discord. Yeah, or either in the, in the yeah. description, jump in the Discord and let us know. We'll, we'll create a channel. We'll, we'll create a channel in the Discord called um, Christmas, Christmas App. Yeah. Where we'll make a custom mission and we'll make some custom data sheets, maybe even might even get the um someone was it frontline gaming that did a data sheet maker or something? Some, oh, someone someone did someone one. Has, someone someone has, did it's one. It's a really sweet data sheet. <clears throat> yeah, and we'll there. we'll make a whole bunch of data sheets and we'll do like a I don't know, like a fifteen hundred point game or something, which is yeah, like that'll a, be hilarious. Or like every single data sheet is just custom, like curated by you guys. And yeah. um and we'll just do a stupid... But also, also, Crota It's got to be 40k, though. It's got to be 40k oh, stupid. Yeah. Yeah, Crota teleporting with orcs riding them. I like it. Yeah. And then, if, if, if we can if we can make it work, like, so for example, like, an orc riding a Crota we could do, like, a, a Saurus or, like, a like a Lizardman yeah. Yeah. thing. Yeah. So, get, Saurus, get, get one riders. of the Saurus knights. Yeah, Saurus knights, get and then we can the put an orc knights, on top. Put or, an orc like, on top. So yeah, look, we'll 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 go ahead and dissect this. And for anyone who's still listening at, a, at an hour and twenty, awesome, you'll you'll be the part of yeah. it. So, so I think we'll, obviously we'll push this a little bit more publicly and stuff as well. Yeah, we'll come up with something a little bit clearer. I'm keen. That's gonna be our Chrissy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah love it. All right. Uh, last thing was that knights have not changed at all. They did change. They lost their obsec. Uh, and they then they gained it again because yeah. they put it back in a couple of days later because they're like, yeah, oh, we so fucked someone, up. Because the whole community was like, was like what the fuck? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Everyone was like, that was dumb. Why? Yeah. Why well, do that? Because I think maybe people in England were like, yeah, that makes sense. And then the rest of the world was like, we... hold on, we're not going to get your shit till like however much longer later. Yeah. yeah. Us, yeah. us in Australia, we're like, uh, uh, we got to Six wait. months later, like, um, yeah. do we still not have OBSEC on our nights? Or... Yeah. Yeah. Like, without, but, um, but without yeah. the internet, we just wouldn't know. Like, yeah. No. Yeah. But, uh, yeah. Because we so live that's... in a pond 6,000 miles from everything. <laughs> well, we don't We don't live. We're actually on another yeah. planet. Yeah. Yeah. yeah that's right. because... We're actually actors. We're not paid actors. There are people that live in Australia that are actors. We, Australians, actually don't live on Earth. We're actually on a different planet, yeah. remember? Yeah. 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 That's right. Yeah. Well, don't don't tell them that. Well, well I mean, gonna we got here. We got anyway. here. We got we got here by Crotal. We, <laughs> we're, <the laughs> yeah. we're the superior race, right? Yeah. yeah. Boom. Boom. That's uh, why we can throw sticks and have them come back. <laughs> it's why we have like warp crocodiles. Because crocodiles. Exactly. Hey, where do crocodiles exist anywhere else in the world? Yeah, nowhere. Yeah, I mean, no, I'm, sure, cause... I'm sure they might, but like not really prevalently <laughs> because not warp that's, crocodiles, yeah, not warp teleporting crocodiles. No, but that's by migration. They all salty. <laughs> they all salty. teleported there. Yeah, they yeah exactly. There. It's crotalid <laughs> migration. Yeah, exactly. It's like they're, they're all, 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 all crocs generate from Australia. Yeah, yeah like, they just so. teleport. Yeah. You ever seen a? You ever seen a crocodile? Like born, like on its yeah, on its born. No, no one, no one sees them born because they're never born. They're just there. Zip and there. Yeah, that's right. You just gotta like, oh, we got a nine foot, zoom, twelve foot, bang. There it is. Copy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, planet Australia. God, what a shit fucking planet. <laughs> I imagine Where turning to the shop, be just like, nope. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, people land and be like, nah, we're just leaving, bro. See ya. Yeah. <laughs> Well, everything here wants to kill you, right? 
Well, it's because Kadachan. Like, Kadachan is legit. Yeah, yeah, pretty yeah, much. 100%. 100%. Yeah, 100%. Well, um, thank you guys for, <laughs> for sitting up with, with us. Around for... this one. That was a big one. It was good. It was. Good. It was. This is, I've, had, I've had a lot of fun with this one. Um, thank you guys for listening, for tuning in. We hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, if you're still listening, make sure to drop us a review and all that kind of stuff. It helps out the algorithm a lot. Uh, oh check gosh. out the Discord, Patreon, all that good stuff. Check hit up Tim at Dice Arcade for any purchases you want to make with a big discount. Thank you guys for coming on, Lockie and Jake. Yeah, no problem. And we will and, be uh, uh, showcasing as much of these changes as we can with the yes. stuff that we have. The next next few episodes will be showcasing a lot of these. We actually will be showcasing yeah. a lot. And uh, are the yeah. sisters are close, man. They're on the way. They really? They're on the way. Yeah, they yeah, are, they're, man. They're, we're not gonna we're not gonna not gonna nail it down, but they're nah, on the nah, way. Nah, no date. No, no, I'm not necessarily. Um, but we'll yeah, I'm pumped. I can't wait for them to be on because I can't wait to use them and slap all you bitches with them. So. <laughs> Yeah, sort of so, has to do the you. battle of faith, right? Black Templar versus sisters. Oh, hundred no, percent. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I am. So, I love them for the most. I am praying harder. Well, you are, <laughs> I am praying harder. You're a priest and a nun, and be like, oh, who's worse? Mm. Yeah. Everybody. How many? I, I, I've got more rosary beads, more rosary beads up my ass than you do. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He, he, uh, he's, he's Captain Trent. He's just with his rosary bead. Shabba. <laughs> People who aren't Australian won't understand that. But yeah. yeah, well, get on the internet, get an education. It's pretty straightforward. Um, if, you, if you haven't seen it, um, and, and unfortunately, it is full, but we are hosting another event, a doubles event, yep. a big one. Um, it's it's yeah, massive. It's We've next got... month, yeah. yeah. What, what, it's, it's great. I've registered. What date is it? The 8th, yeah? 7th. Nice. Okay. The, the Saturday. It's good. Okay, yeah. Right. So I was in the right weekend. It's just usually you were, you were. It's good. You are close. Yeah. Um, um, so, so, yeah. Also, the, on Sundays, we do often, uh, twice a month, we run club days where we yeah, get together to play games and have fun. It's usually a that's uh, twice a month on Sundays. If you want to be involved with that, jump in the Discord. That's where all of that gets organized. Yep. Mm-hmm. It's good stuff. Um, just join the Discord. It's great. Everything yep. gets organized in there. It's all there. That's where you want to be. Trust us, it's good. 100%. Thanks. And look, come in, check it out, and then if you don't like it, you can leave. That's but it. you're going to like it to stay. So you'll stay anyway. You <laughs> like it. It's good stuff. <laughs> Thanks for tuning in, okay. everyone. See you guys. We'll, we'll catch you this next time. Bye. Bye. <laughs>